welcome back programmers in the today's section we are gonna see how you can create this searching method in the previous video we saw how you can create the bubble shot link is in the description check out now in the today's section we are gonna focus on searching method now why we need searching method because the help of the searching method is to find a particular object so this is the simplest way we are gonna use this simple list but if you are using a big data or a database or something else it is gonna help you to find a particular object with the lowest cpu energy it means it is fast for computation so let's begin so there are two types of searching available linear search and binary search we are gonna focus on linear search today so let's see let's say this is the list for century 9 2 and 1 let's say we want to find the 9 in from the list and for that we are gonna create a function that search and in the parameter we are gonna pass two parameter the first one is obviously a list and the second one is what we want to search and then we are gonna take a loop for i in the range of length of arr1 which means six because the length of my list is six now you can see in my list we got the six value but the index is start from zero so zero one two three four and five we got five values so we have to add length minus one or else we are gonna get the error the out of range index now how we are gonna find the a particular object let's say we want to find nine so we are gonna check each of value if find equal to equal to four no if find equal to equal to seven no if find equal to equal to three no if find equal to equal to nine yes this is our value and that's it we got our value so the simple way to do is we are gonna take a if condition if error of value equal to equal to find so we are gonna return the that value and that index number so let's try we are gonna simply gonna call this function and pass the arr1 let's say we want to find 9 so we are gonna add 9 in here but it is returning something so that's why we have to store that value in something and then we are gonna print that something so let's do this so you can see we got value of 9 is in index of 3 but this this is the wrong index but in the environment of array this is the right index but as you can see this is not the third index this is in the fourth index so we have to just add the plus one in here because again array start from zero so now you can see we got four now let's change this find value let's say we want to find a uh, seven you can see we got two because seven is in the second index but what if we didn't find the value what if the value is not available in the list let's try let's say 8 is not available in the list so if we try this we are gonna get the error or you can say none and for that I just simply use the else condition if the value is fine and for that we are gonna return in that value and the index number but else value is not available let's try I'm trying 8 again you can see we got oops I forgot to add f string now let's try this again you can see value of 8 is not available so that's how you can simply create the searching method in python so that is it for today's guys in the next video i'm gonna show you how you can search the binary method in python so that is it for today's guys see you guys in the next video if you like this video like this video share this video to other programmers subscribe to my youtube channel to the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video so that is it for today's guys see you guys in the next video till then just code